Hi guys! Guess where we're going? We're off to get the OLED, the wonderful new Switch OLED. We're off to get the OLED. Woo! Well, here we are. Let's do this thing. Oh yeah? Thank you so much. Right. Um, here's I brought Tom's too. Just yeah, so thank you so much for that. Thank you. Thank Have you. a good day. Right, guys, thank thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. See you. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. So as you can see, we went on a little bit of an adventure today, and here it is, the fruits of our labor. The brand new Switch OLED model. So we thought that we would open it with you guys and give you our first impressions, and also do some comparisons with the old Switch. This is the original release model, which is about four and a half years old now. So it's about time that Nintendo made some improvements. The obvious draw card to this new beast is the bigger and better OLED screen. But there are a few more features that Nintendo's included, which we'll be sure to get into once we get this bad boy open. But the suspense is killing me, so let's do it. <laughs> Would you like to do the honors, Lori? Please. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were going to swing it back my way. <laughs> Go for it. I don't know if we even need the scissors. Yeah, I don't think we do either. One eternity later. Oh. <laughs> 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 Look at it! Nice! It's like a little Dalmatian. Alright, so first and foremost, there you go. Let's get that bad boy out of there. I'll grab the Joy-Cons. I really like these new sleek white Joy-Cons. I really like those. They look really nice. You should see how shiny this is. <laughs> yeah, is it real nice? Ooh, it's real nice. This old one's a bit battered and bruised now. It's got a big crack down the middle Even of the it. screen protector's starting to bubble and it's not the greatest. <laughs> let's do it, let's do it. Ooh, yeah, nice and smooth. Ooh. All the satisfying sound. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but the bezel that's originally around this bad boy, the black bezel around the edges, that is non-existent in this one, which is really nice. One of those new features we talked about was this new, oh God, am I gonna break it? Oh God, you do it, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna do what Wolf Dean did and put his fingernail through the, through the speaker. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, pull. Pull it. <laughs> I'm too scared. <laughs> there we oh. go. Oh. oh, right. It like, it just hinges up rather than, I don't know, I was expecting it to like, nice. I don't know what I was expecting, but not that. Not that? Yeah. The old kickstand on the old Switch is just this really shitty piece of, like it's no good. Really flimsy. But this bad boy, to be honest, it barely stays there. Yeah, that one hardly stays, stays there. Barely stays there. Yeah, it like bends in, but this one's got like, well, it's metal for one. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's definitely like a harder plastic at least, isn't it? And it just sits there. Oh, it's pretty And the hinge nice. is a lot stiffer, so it doesn't feel like it's going to fall over. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Any angle you like. Any angle. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, isn't it? What else we got in this nice box? Oh, yes. There you go. Oh, thank you. We got some cords, but they're boring. Nobody cares about cords. Wait, does this have one of those pieces of plastic over the screen? No. Oh, I love taking those off. <laughs> Damn it. 
the only Kong so far. <laughs> Does that look pretty much the same? Yeah, it's pretty much your standard Joy-Con connectors. Pretty similar. Does it feel different at all? Oh, pretty much exactly the same. This one's obviously got a sticker on it, but much exactly the same from what I can tell. It just feels newer and nicer. Maybe the plastic's a bit higher quality. This one looks shiny a bit, maybe yeah, just because we've used Yeah, it's got them. like a different finish on the back, maybe. It's hard to tell. Yeah, it's nice though. This is a nice one, rounded edges. And I think that you can just pull this right off. Ooh. So one of the other new features that this Switch has that the old one didn't is that the dock now has a LAN port on it. Which is interesting because even the GameCube had a LAN port. <laughs> so those recently released, or the recently announced cloud versions of the Kingdom Hearts games, maybe a little bit more viable now for more people. Playing on Wi-Fi wouldn't have been the most ideal of situations, that's for sure. A LAN port's definitely more stable. Mm-hmm. Way better connection. Does it come with them? Cables, you don't care. Nah, it doesn't come with a <laughs> LAN cable. That's sold separately, but we have three of those, so it's no big deal. Yeah. Oh yeah, the stripes. Spots. spots, stripes. I don't know, one of the two. They're nice anyway. Let's let's put it in. Ooh, I just touched the screen. Oh. That's a bad thing, isn't it? Oh, we should have got a screen protector. Yeah, we should have, yes. Oh, it's so nice and new and the no bezel really makes me hesitant to touch the actual, this tablet thing though. This, ah, oh, this. There's bigger prints on it. <laughs> Put that in there, it's nice and snug. Does feel like there's a bit of room for leeway, so there's always room for customization, which is good. Stickers do add like a mil or so. Put that down the dock. Oh yeah, that looks nice. These feel nicer it? going in. I don't know if it's just my mind, but... It's your imagination. It feels like tighter. No? Oh, no, no, I agree, yeah. So and the real out. question here is, have they fixed drift on these new controllers? Only time will tell. Only time will tell, doubt it, but... <laughs> good thing I've got a video on how to fix it. Link right here. <laughs> So, I don't know if you have noticed, but this old switch, I don't know if you guys can see that, but this, it just, it's not a very solid connection here. Now, it's probably because this switch itself is like, yeah, four, four, four and a half years old now, but there is no way in hell that these are going to move around in the new one, that's for sure. It just feels so much more solid. Yeah, it does feel more stable. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is metal. Because it's cold. <laughs> it's just, I think it's just cold in general. It looks yeah. nice. Yeah. Now I guess we skip all the boring setting the switch up so we can have a look at the screens. Oh. The speakers seem better. The speakers are better. That's one of they the are. other things that Nintendo is claiming that the, yeah, the speakers are better. I don't know, it just sounds more like it's coming from both the left side and the right side. It's more full, it's more stereo. Yeah. Rather than mono. We I'm don't not entirely to... sure on the specs of the new speakers, but they are apparently better. <laughs> Misa likes the new Switch OLED model. <laughs> So we've just put the new Breath of the Wilds in this bad boy. I know you probably can't see it, but it looks so nice and crisp in there. I just Getting the, the shit Breath of the Wilds. Did I say new Breath of the Wilds? <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> we did notice that the game card slot is a little harder to get open. Uh, Laura struggled a bit, even with her really long nails she's got at the moment. You know, the old, the old slot had a bit more of like a you get your nail under it and we'll flick it open, whereas this one doesn't have as much of that. The volume buttons are a little different design-wise. Not huge. Longer and thinner. Yeah, longer and thinner. So far, the screen just looks so nice and crisp and, and big. I yeah, know it's it looks only, a lot bigger. It's not much. 
It's really not much, but it looks- It seems like heat. So much bigger. With a screen this size, a centimeter or two is huge, right? Mm -hmm. And that's that's all it is, but it, it just looks so much nicer. So much more full, if that makes sense. Yeah, that bezel not being there. It's actually way bigger than I imagined it was. Now that it's not there, it looks huge, the bezel. The bezel, 100%. Yes. I ne never noticed it before now, and now I can't unsee it. Yeah. It's actually really quite annoying. It cannot be unseen. We only got one of these new OLED models because... While well, one of us will usually play on the TV, which is usually me. So Laura's probably gonna be the one who spends the most amount of time on this Switch. I prefer to play it on the TV. So if you're like me, might not be totally worth it for you because there is no real upgrades to the dock system. There's no 4K upscaling or anything like that. Unfortunately, that would be great. There is, however, the aforementioned LAN cable. And this new dock does have the capability to be updated which is interesting so there's clearly some kind of software in this bad boy now that will be updated <laughs> i guess maybe the idea of 4k upscaling isn't completely dead in the water yet not so much a tech nerd myself so i'm not entirely sure exciting though exciting prospect if you like laura though i say get it yeah just from first impressions this is $50 more expensive now, this new Switch OLED. But if you're gonna play it in tabletop or handheld mode, then I honestly don't see why you would get this older one. Yeah, from the small amount of time that we've spent on it, there isn't a whole lot of difference between this one and the old one, but as soon as you turn this one on, the small differences that they are just seem like huge differences. I think that it is definitely worth the extra $50. I think if you don't have a Switch at all to begin with, or you've got a Switch Lite or something, then it would be worth getting this one. But if you've already got a perfectly working original Switch, maybe it's not worth spending $500 to upgrade it. But if you've got an extra $500, then I would. Why not? Why not? We bought this so you didn't have to necessarily. We also bought it because it's a new Switch and we had to have it. <laughs> but it's it is honestly really nice. Can't wait to sit down and spend some time with this bad boy and play it. So there you have it, the brand new Switch OLED system. Thank you so much for joining us in this unboxing. Magical first moments of the new Switch system. The start of the new life. But we're gonna love you and leave you now because we've got some Switch to play. We will be doing a more comprehensive review on it once we've been able to play it for a decent amount of time so that we know what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss it. Until then, hit that like button. That would be fantastic. It helps out the channel a heap. And we'll catch you next time. Cheers.